Hello guys, today we're gonna check it out the EGR valve. The one you're watching right now belongs to a D13 engine Volvo, but there are a couple more like DD15, 16, 13, Cummins, Packard, Max Force, A26. So first we're gonna check it out this one and let me tell you a little bit of how this start as i remember in 2002 or 2001 i started seeing it then 2003 2004 trucks they already have in it and what it does is just open and close right to let it go just a little bit of the exhaust going back to the intake so that way they are gonna reuse all the or they're gonna use part of the exhaust to warm it up the engine and to reduce the nuts right everybody has different opinions about this many people say it doesn't work i already talked about this in my egr cooler video that you can check on the top uh, right corner and as long as i know it, it helps somehow but not at all let's start checking it out how what it does what exactly does this thing okay as you can see this is the uh, the wire that comes in here to the solenoid this one only has two wires as you can see closely in there and this one is commanded by the MCM or the ECM or ECU whatever you want to call it and what it does is like ECU, ECU commands it to open and close like this that's the reason the shape of this EGR is like this because opens and close like this this means open this means close how does it work well you see this pipe in here this is for the oil this is the inlet side of the oil this the oil comes with pressure in here and that's what it moves the EGR valve and you see this pipe here in the bottom this one is the outlet all right and we have here the breather and newer ones doesn't have it anymore this is our older EGR design for D13 engine but it is quite interesting because in the newer engines d13 uh, still using it this design just without this heat shield but it's the same egr valve which is good because it means if we want to use this egr valve that's for this broken engine here it might work in a newer engine but let's put aside and let's keep checking it out all right you see it is hold by one two three four bolts and for example this is one kind all right we have other kinds we might be able to check in this video today and what i want to tell you is that's what the egr does you just open and close so let it go past of the exhaust gases back to the intake so that way it will help the cylinders to reduce the temperature and reduce the NOx that's what it does and this kind only has two wires because it doesn't have a positioning sensor a mostly common position sensor and if I had the chance to check it out another with Freilander I'm gonna let you know as you can see this EGR valve belongs to uh, Max 4 13 and this one has a water cooler you see this is the outlet and this part in here is the inlet there is coolant flowing to it so we will cool down the EGR valve and these are the two throttles valves here it has two this one is brand new that's the reason why it moves smoothly right and you can see this is the other part this is where the gasket sits and this is the motor the one that moves 
the EGR ball. The good thing is about the EGR balls with this kind of motor is like a, it can tell you if the motor is moving properly or not. The problem with the ones with the actuator, like the ones in Priliners, it cannot tell you how to how if the actuator actually is moving or not because the actuator just moves the roll. Okay, so I will show you how the ones in the EG, uh, on the as you can see here, this EGR ball is for a 2019 DD15, and you can see this design is different because it's a vertical design compared to the horizontal design. And this is the roll, and as you can see, the roll goes way over there. But compared to the other one, this one has four cables in here. It means this one has a position sensor, but just for the actuator, not for the EGR ball itself, because the EGR ball itself goes way there. You see? If you move it, right now, I believe it's open. This one is closed. When you turn on the ignition, usually Freiland uh, Detroit engines does this. And to test the if the EGR is working properly but this is the newer design uh, I'm gonna try to show you the other design the so that way you're gonna know how it works so this one you see in there is for a 2015 engine all right this design I believe it lasts up to 2017 or 18 and they updated to the 2019 they already show you this is a horizontal design and as you can see how the push road travels right and the problem Freiliner has with the push road is like they can tell exactly when where the bow it is they can tell you where the actuator it is, but not the bow because sometimes the road breaks and even if the actuator moves, the bow does not move. So you see this difference here, the bow goes in the elbow. It doesn't go in the bag in here, it goes there. And you see it has four cables, this wiring here excuse me guys has four cables in there all right it means it has a position sensor but as i told you it's just for the actuator only all right guys the egr you see in here is for uh, 2012 11 or i believe 10 from 2010 trucks and uh, this belongs to dd 15 engine all right, as you can see, this one has the uh, uh, power axial turbine. And as I told you before, in this design, can you see where the, the ball goes? It goes completely different compared to the 2015 engine, right? And this one's uh, upda up updated. They Before, they used to be like a big, big uh, actuator bigger than this like three times bigger but they updated and this is the newer one and as I told you guys this there are so many kinds of EGRs that it's really hard to cover all in one video but I'm gonna try to show you more if I this EGR in here belongs to a series 60 engine and as you can see, this one is really old. <laughs> it's from 2008 and 9 Series 60 engines. The last one in their kind, I believe. You don't see this one that often anymore, especially here in California. And I want to show you something. Okay, this one, as you can see, it's completely loose that's the way the EGR should work this one we change it because it has problems with the motor 
there is a open circuit or something related to it but the main thing you need to know is like if you EGR right is working like this it means the mechanical part is fine and maybe the electrical part is not good but it's hard to find out so you can't replace uh, just the mechanical part or the electrical part you have to replace the whole thing and you can see here it has four connectors in there yeah I believe you can see it and two connectors of those are power and ground and the others are the signals those signals comes from the computer one for the positioning sensor and the other one is for the control from the ECU control okay so remember EGR just open and close just by a little bit period of time if you're accelerating the truck usually it opens and you let it go the gas usually it close but ECU MCM or whatever other name you call it control all that so this is all what I got for you today guys this is um, what I want you to know about the EGR valve just remember this part is loose right it means the mechanical part is okay but probably the problem is the electrical part and sometimes this part is stuck so obviously you have to replace it thanks for watching today i changed the name of the channel to let's talk diesel i hope you like it and if you have any questions leave it in the section down below and i'm gonna try to answer to you guys uh, see you in my next video bye